In the woman's life, I and my team saved. Is she's called Madam Bayo Peniswan. She's 42 years of age. She comes from young community, just opposite the health center we are sitting. Um, this woman reported to us here on the 23rd of October 2009, around 1.30 p.m. with labor pains. She was received and sent into the labor ward. All the necessary examinations were done, but we could not um, hear the fetal heart of the baby. The abdomen was very tense and difficult to palpate. So this woman was informed of all the findings done on her. And um, I saw that I could not manage this woman at my end here because I have no doctor with me. Then I could not hear the fetal heart of the uh, baby, which definitely tells us that there was something wrong. So we explained to the woman and we told her the needs of her being referred to Jirapa Hospital to be managed by a doctor there. Well, from the beginning, the woman did not, um, she did not take it and she did not want the referral. So, but we still insisted that there was the need for that referral because we needed her life and the baby. So on and on and on, we sent for the husband, and she and the husband and some few relatives were counseled about why we want to refer this woman to a higher level for further management. The husband agreed, then went home to prepare. Then as he went, I also came and sat here, and I was writing the referral. But before that, the woman started pushing prematurely, which we tried discouraging. And um, I'm feeling because she had the, this thing that she didn't want to go to the hospital. So she was trying her best to deliver at the facility. So at the end, she pushed out a lifeless baby boy at 2.55 p.m. and started pouring started bleeding profusely. So we took the baby. When the baby came out, the cord was tightly around the neck. There was cord around the neck and the baby was not alive. So we picked the baby, we separated the baby from the mother and the mother started bleeding. So there we told her still more about the need of her referral still, even though she has delivered and the baby is not alive, but she herself was at risk because of the bleeding. So she still insisted a bit, but before she could say anything, the ambulance has arrived. And the way she saw herself in the pool of blood, she even got up with the support of relatives. She even took the lead to enter the ambulance. <laughs> the day I went into labor, I went up to the clinic. I told Madame Teresa that the child was not moving. When the baby came out, he was dead. There was blood flowing. They said I should go to the hospital, but I didn't want to go because I had already lost my baby. But when I saw the blood was still flowing, it frightened me. I realized that I had to get in the ambulance and go. After she delivered the baby, she was bleeding so much. The ambulance charged 12 cities to transport us to the hospital and an extra 2 cities to wash the blood from the ambulance. The counseling that I gave to the husband and the woman herself and there were some other few women that really this is the case that we cannot manage here. 
and we needed them to know that the importance so that they will go to the hospital, accept the referral, and so that we'll save the woman's uh, and life. Mm -hmm. And the second thing was, you know, we also gave our something to control the bleeding. Small, we gave some IV infusions, and then we immediately called for the ambulance. Mm -hmm. So I think the big response of the ambulance driver too was a factor. Mm -hmm. And we are very happy we got her back. She's back home. She's fine. She has still continued to do her household chores. Today even she's preparing some pito. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know.